Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fallout 4. Right, first things first, I'm going to try and upgrade some of my guns. Well, <laughs> try. God damn it. I got no materials, so we're going to have to go on a mission. How many fusion cores do I have? I have one fusion core. Okay, this sucks slightly. Shut up, Preston. No one likes you. Right. Uh, right. Idea is, I think it's just about time I ditch the vault suit. But the problem with that is, you know, the whole. It's plus and minuses, basically. <laughs> oh. Sorry about that. Right, actually. You know, we haven't got much in the way of weapon well, in the way of outfits right now. But we're gonna head towards more promising locations. And yeah, for everyone else I well the first DLC for this game came out yesterday and I've already completed it on my other playthrough and I'd happily give it a 10 out of 10 it was awesome a lot of robot crafting in it but the whole robot crafting thing is quite expensive and to say how much resources I had on my first playthrough I pretty much have no resources left and I've I managed to build five robots. I built a a ginormous, well, a huge sentry bot that pretty much destroys ev everything. Then I bought it. Well, I built. Well, you're in. I'm well, not trying to spoil the game much, but well, the DLC much because we'll be doing it on this playthrough as well, but. Obviously a, a higher level because the DLC was quite hard to say on my original playthrough. I was Let's just say quite quite strong But it did not prepare me for what that threw at me not by a long shot But also now we have more perks that we need to spec into especially for the DLC which uh, if you come down here, it's this perk here, the robotics expert, but as I said, as I level up from now on, I'm going to be uh, specking more into my special stats, especially my agility, endurance, and perception, until they all reach 10. And I'm going to hold off on the bobbleheads to start off with as much as I possibly humanly can, because the whole, yeah. The bobbleheads will increase stats by one, and with my original playthrough, I sort of messed up a bit and got all my stats to 10 later in the game and missed out on getting all my stats to 11 using the bobbleheads. So I'm gonna, I'm attempting to do that from here, but you know, I'll try and get as many of my stats to 11 as I can. Uh, the yeah, back to the DLC. Uh, I do have five robots on it. One, I made a very armored Mr. Handy and named him Mr. Badass because he looks so badass. I've also heard you can uh, modify companions as well, such as Codsworth. And. Oh, hello. <laughs> now that's a sentry bot. I created one of those. A fusion car. Nice. Right, so what we're going to do, well, basically, I made a very armoured, more armoured version of one of those. And it looks a lot more badass. I will not lie. And, yeah, the whole, the whole thing is it takes a lot of resources to build robots. Oh, hot rodders. Nice. So now I've just got the hot rod paint for my power armors. But yeah, this, the sheer amount of materials you need for it to build robots 
I have a Mr. Handy I call Mr. Badass. And then I also have a sentry bot that's armored to hell. But I've used that to send it to a settlement just so it'll be, you know, useful in defense. Also with that, with the whole uh, defense thing, all my settlements now are all completely powerful. Alright, let's take the prototype tape out. Right. Okay, I hope this guy does not turn hostile on me. Or else I will. Oh, or I will. Wow, I will not live. Where's it going? I think we should follow this guy, see where it takes us. Oh. That's where it takes us. Yeah, I'm just... Oh, I'm button. That'll do. But yeah. I think what we shall do is follow the robot. See where he goes. Because on my original playthrough, I did kind of skip the whole... All of this and just went up and shot him in the head. But I think he's just going to do a lap around here. I'm not really sure. But back to back to my robots. I also created like three robots, which were the Assaultron robots. Which are the more human looking robots. And I made one that was half Mr. Handy, half Assaultron. And the other two remained Assaultrons. You can't go in there, robot. But yeah, the robots on in the DLC have a way higher carry capacity and any of them can become followers. So Dogmeat, you're kind of going to be out of a job. Same as on my original playthrough, I did replace Kyuri with one of the robots I created. Because they could carry a lot more than what Kyuri could offer. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Alright, what is going on here? Alright, I'm at the edge of the map. That's not good. Right, I was attempting to go to the satellite relay, just to clear it out a bit, maybe get a bit of looting done, a bit of XP. More rats. Alright, come on then, more rats, let's go. Can't hide from forever. Yeah, yeah. What's this in the center? Ha ha ha! Lootsy doodles. Settlers. Mole rats. Glowing fungus. See, as I've said before, a lot of the materials in the game are actually so useful to, like, have. Things like the hub flowers no matter the material it's still very useful right i'm just gonna quick save here just in case i get blown to pieces again but yeah apparently last time it was a mole rat with c4 fast uh, strapped to it which was my demise but this time around i should not die I did say should, but, you know, it could go, it kind of could go a, either way. Alright. Yeah, I remember all this. Wrecking the raiders. But yeah, the sort of thing that's going on right now is I'm not really questing very much 
at the moment is just due to I'm trying to get more XP so I get more levels and then more levels I get stronger so I can take on a lot harder targets and a lot harder locations but it's something I'll have to pretty much so I'll have to pretty much just go with I can hear two footsteps that's not good Oh, it's another dog. Dog mate! Shift your butt. Hey. Whoa, doggy. Alright, you give me the green one. And I will give you the skull one. Alright. So, I want the gunner's green bandana. Doesn't really do much, as you can see, but I look cooler. But yeah, once we, once I get to Diamond City, I am definitely changing what my character looks like because I'm not too happy with the choice of how my character looks. Well, the hair and no face paint. Because like I kind of want to do a bit of role playing and like have my character be like this. Half good, half evil, you know, mercenary raider. But, you know, with having hair like that, I sort of don't look too scary, too intimidating. So, like, I want to kind of make my female character more, to look more intimidating than normal. Because what I originally failed to do in my original, well, in my original playthrough is kind of make my character look intimidating because it was my first playthrough and I kind of wanted to see what happened you know try not to for a lack of a better word piss be anyone off so it was just a case of being the good guy but this time around I'm kind of want well what I'm going to try and do is do things my way all the time Like, uh, I should have really just taken Codsworth with me. God damn it. Uh, I should have taken Codsworth with me because he, well, certain companions besides Mr. Dogmeat here, they, they have specific perks that once you raise their, you know, how much they like you to a certain point, they will, you'll get a perk for it. Oh, I hear a dog. That's not cool. Ow. Let's go. Right, did I... I can't remember if I got the... Uh, no, I didn't. The awareness perk. That perk there is a lifesaver. Because when I look in vats at the enemies... It should tell me what level they are and what they're weak against and things like that. So I will pretty much know from the get-go of any gunfight whether I'm going to win or I'm going to lose. So that perk will come in very handy. Oh, what the hell? Take the newspaper... Yeah, I'm using the pack. Sorry about that. I was <laughs> just listening out for any f footsteps. But at any point, like, I'm using the Pipe Assault Rifle. Well, my version of a Pipe Assault Rifle right now. Just so it's kind of slightly easier on ammo because the 38 rounds are the most fusion core. Nice. They're the most common ammo type. That I will come across. But, you know, like on my original playthrough, I have over 50,000 
bullets and I don't even use the pipe weapons anymore. Like at the stage I'm at, they're pretty 